So if I want to try to find out whether GF exists, GF exists. When GF can exist, that means they are going to be existing as one composite. And logically, the place where I'm going to try to analyze whether GF exists is going to be this portion here. You know, whether they can be joined together so that they can form a composite. And whether they can be joined together, looking at this, just by looking at this, staring at this part, right? Can you, can you also imagine okay, that in order for it to be possible, I just need to make sure that everything that comes out from F is going to be possible to go into G. So the range of F must be a subset of the domain of G. And I want to make sure that this is very, very, very clear to me. It is logical. It's not because I've memorized something, but it is logical that in order for the composite function GF to exist, the range of F has to be a subset of the domain of G. What else can it be? I mean, if the range of F is more than the range of G, uh, more than the domain of G, then some things that come out from F, right, is going to flow out. It's not going to continue to go all the way until the end. This is not going to form for me a composite function. Is this clear? Any question?